Soland, the vision of Soland is making the world of our longing one maturing soul at a time. That's the kind of the frame of the vision. And within that, there's a deep intention of, it's in two parts, is how do we relearn the language of soul? And how do we bring back the initiations and rite of passage and ceremonies and rituals that enable humans to become mature? Because I feel that this is what we need right now. It's human beings that have gone through their own initiation so they can be of service to this earth because she, I think, needs us uh, to move from a very adolescent, um, um, disconnected, uh, homeless, orphaned uh, being to deeply connected, deeply remembering, deeply belonging and deeply mature human beings. So Soland, through grief composting circle, through womb belt, through looking at the language of soul, through all this bundle of offerings, um, is wishing to create a school also and a sanctuary. At the moment it's a moving feast, uh, just me at the moment. But what I'm calling for is uh, two things. So a sanctuary, which would be a physical place. It's a water mill. That's the vision of a water mill, uh, where water is, is transformed into electricity, where people can come and really rest and be f really where their soul can be fed again. And then there's a school where people who are interested in learning the language of soul, learning the um, the practices of rite of passage initiation again, really bringing them back, can learn that. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm looking for watermill, look, looking for a circle of committed people that would like to bring this forward. This vision cannot be done just by myself at all. It, uh, I've taken it that far, I think, uh, and now we'll, we'll, we need a, a watermill. Um, um, in France maybe, in Europe anyway, I feel it's in Europe. Uh, yeah, it's a place, I just want to finish with, it's a place where we welcome the grey people. And the grey people, what I imagine they are, they are either burned out activists, frontline activists who just need a place to rest and recover, or they are the young people that are, um, that they know there's something different that they can live, that they can express with their lives, that or people that maybe have gone to the edges of suicide or breakdown. And my take on suicide is that it's a call for an initiation. But as we don't have the language of soul to even ask for it, and because there's no elders really to welcome these people, it's a place where we can welcome them, we can learn again how to be a place of welcome and of mentoring and of maturation, I'm repeating, because I feel that's, to me, what's the most important right now in our time. So yeah, please make contact if you're at, us, you know, at all touched or moved or inspired or um, animated by this vision and uh, we can take it further.